Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today's tutorial, I'm excited to show you step-by-step -step how to create your own custom professional music visualizers for your songs and your beats. So I've shown you all some of the visualizers that I've created in my previous videos, and many of you are interested in making your own, and you're just wondering how in the world do you do this? Normally when you create a music visualizer, you need a very fast computer, you need a, a solid graphics card, you need to know how to use specialized complex software. For those of you who just wanna create professional music visualizers and uh, be able to customize them, do it easily, I've got a much better tool for you. So the music visualizer tool that we're gonna be using today is a website called videobolt.net. This is the site you wanna go ahead and uh, just click over here to music visualization. So if we scroll down here, you're gonna see a lot of different templates and we can just hover over them. And this is just gonna be kind of our starting point for the music visualizer. And if you wanna check it out in full screen, just click this little square here and we can get a nice high quality preview. But I just want something nice and clean for a song release. Those of you who are uh, artists, songwriters, and you just wanna put something complimentary to your song and you want to put up a video on YouTube, but you don't just want to put up a picture. If I just click on that and we'll go in here. All right, so that looks cool. You can see we got that nice little graphic visualization here of the frequency response. We're going to get more in depth with the editing. So let's say we're going to use this. I'm going to click edit and it's gonna load up our editor, which this is where you're going to you know, customize colors, change the song name, your artist name, you can put your logo, we can do video backgrounds, you can even upload your own videos, which I'm gonna show you. So first we're gonna upload our track, which if we click upload here, we can upload the file, and then once you've started uploading some files, you will see them in your media library, so you can you know, use your logo again, or maybe you had a, an album cover that you wanted to reuse, you can do that. So I've already uploaded our track here. Let's just click on that. So we'll select that and we can preview it. We birthed the stars today and I'm feeling a certain way and I came out here to prove to the doubters, man, my faith is up loud. And let's change some of our text here. So it's literally just click on these uh, fields and we're just gonna enter our song name. So this is called highs and lows. The artist is myself. So I'll put that. I've got the cover art, which I uploaded as well. So we'll select that. And if you wanna crop it or change anything, you can. And it will just keep updating this image here to show you what's going on. Let's go to the cover art background. So a lot of the templates allow you to either upload a custom just image, static image, or even cooler, you can upload your own videos. So there's a lot of creative possibilities with this, I thought it would be cool to just have, you know, my kind of moving clouds sort of animation that you guys have seen in my intros. And let's click play, see what that is. Oh yeah, very smooth. So if you have an idea for a video background, but you might not necessarily have something filmed like this, they have a ton of really inspiring and cool stock footage. So if we just click the stock footage tab, go over to footage, which is gonna be our videos, and let's say we wanted to look for, you know, some different types of clouds there. Just type that in. Really high quality, high resolution videos. And we can use any of these as backgrounds here in our visualizers. I'm going to click select. And once again, we can crop it. We're in 1080p with this already. So I'm not going to change the crop. If you want to just have it loop over and over again, you can do that, which we will. Any of these elements that you see, if you click on them and you see this little eyeball, we can disable them. So I don't want that text you are now listening to. So I'm just going to hide that. No problem. And then over here we can change uh, themes. So let's say maybe we wanted to do the white background instead. If I click that and just apply those different colors. Let's go to our little customize. And we can change low frequency color, mid frequency color, high frequency, all these different colors here. A lot of different customization. Uh, so you can get really deep into it, as deep in, into it as you want. 
You can even change the height of different frequencies in your spectrum. Let's adjust the background opacity. I'm going to turn that up to 100 because I want those clouds to be popping. The cover detail opacity, I'm going to turn that all the way up. And I'm going to turn the blur down because I just want it to be pretty much as is. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. And then there is a cover background tint on it right now, which I think looks pretty cool, but I just want to turn that down. So let's go to maybe like 40%. And you're going to see that that's just going to change more towards our original color of that video. That all looks good to me. So let's just say that, you know, we wanted to maybe try something else out. We can always just click this exit button. So it'll ask you if you want to leave. And when you say yes, it'll just save this to our drafts. So we didn't lose anything we just did. I just go back to drafts. I could go preview some different ones and then come back to this. So then we'll just go to continue editing. We are good to go. So I'm going to go up here and click produce video. So once I click that, we're going to select a preview range for the audio. And for this, what you want to do is get the loudest part of your song just so that you can see how the visualizer is going to react. Make sure those frequency settings that we put on there are going to be appropriate. Music help me deal with all the highs and lows. Don't let them weigh down your soul. We're going to hit render. And this usually goes pretty quickly for the render preview. You're going to see the percentage up here. And you'll see the pixels just slowly fill in here. Then we've got a low quality preview. It will just watermark it, but you can see what it's gonna look like. So we'll press play. We're gonna go up here and click remove watermark. And it'll tell you how many you know credits, subscription credits you have, or how many videos you can render um, and then it tells you your expected render time. That says two minutes. So I can just tell you right now that some of the visualizers that I've done on my computer personally, they take like hours sometimes. So two minutes for this video is exceptionally fast uh, for this. And again, it's gonna be done in the browser. So it's not actually happening on my computer. Once again, we'll get this render screen. All right, so we've landed here and our visualizer is complete. You also get an email that will let you know that that render is done. I'm gonna go up here to download and share, and we're gonna click on the zip folder. Already downloaded everything. So we'll open that up and I'll show you what's in there. We have a, a thumbnail it automatically generates a thumbnail for the video. We've got the high quality video, which we're going to look at in a minute. And it also gives you a license that will allow you to use this commercially. You can utilize this as you please. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up the uh, the video. Let's see how it looks. Never concerned with the plays or attention. Dead up at a mansion. I've been out here praying for my foes. Friends who root in for you come and go. Oh, oh. Most I stay in with me that I know. You can click on this exports tab and you'll see all your finished visualizers here. If you need to re-download your files or maybe you want to make a copy and do some different versions, make some edits, you can do so. You can see some of the other visualizers that I've created. A lot of different creative possibilities here. Just so many cool templates and options. It's just never been easy to create music visualizers until now. I do have a link in the description. If you utilize that link, you will get an exclusive 20% off discount. Wanted to put you all onto it. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions about music visualizers or what we did here with videobolt.net, feel free to leave a comment below. If you learn anything in the video, please like, subscribe, and consider sharing. We'll talk to you soon.